Yo, how's it going everybody? This is Julian over at Boss Labs. So today we're back in Adobe Photoshop looking at advantages of using smart objects and how to use them to create and edit product mockups. First of all, what is a smart object? A smart object is basically a container layer that allows you to transform the containing image non-destructively. By applying transforms and effects or filters to a smart object, you can make sure that you'll always have access to an original version of your image. It's easier to demo what a smart object can do than explain it if you ask me, so let's create one. To create a smart object in an already opened Photoshop file, we go up to File, Place Embedded, or Place Linked, and choose our file. I usually already have my image in a layer, so to convert a layer into a smart object, we select our layer, then go up to Layer, Smart Objects, Convert to Smart Object. My preferred way is to right click my layer and select convert to smart object. If we take a look at our layer thumbnail, we can see an icon on the lower right corner, confirming that we now have a smart object. To drill into the source contents of the smart object to make edits, with our layer selected, we go up to layer, smart objects, edit content, or just double click the Smart Object thumbnail. A new document with our original source image will open, ready to be edited. So now we have a Smart Object, but what can we do with it, you might ask? Well, earlier we mentioned making non-destructive edits, so let's demo that really quickly before moving on to the fun stuff. Let's make a copy of our layer and make it into a Smart Object. Selecting both layers, we'll resize them to 10% of their original size and accept the transform. If we resize our regular layer back to its original size, we can see that our image is no longer sharp. We have lost resolution. Now we'll do the same to our smart object. we can clearly see the difference in quality. As for other types of transformations, we'll quickly distort our smart object. If we now go up to Layer, Smart Objects, Reset Transform, we have our layer in its initial state. We can also right click the layer and select Reset Transform. We can clearly see that there's an advantage to using smart objects, but let's take a look at how we can use those advantages in a scenario that you're likely to see in your professional work. Here we have a 3D render of a living room. Our client wants a three panel art piece on the wall, but isn't sure what type of image would look good. So we've been hired to create some mockups to help them out. We'll start by simply duplicating our living room image as a placeholder and convert it to a smart object. To get it to fit the orientation and perspective of the panels, we'll free transform it by pressing Ctrl or Command T and distorting it by holding down Ctrl or Command and moving the handles. We'll create a selection of the front faces of the three panels and create a layer mask on the smart object.
Since we made our transformation and mask on a smart object, our file is now set up to easily swap out our image while avoiding the tedious and repetitive task of setting up the mockup for every image. If we now double click the smart objects thumbnail to open the source content, there's our image. Now this isn't necessary, but I'm going to expand the canvas size to facilitate the use of images in a landscape orientation. We can now bring in a new image. Save. And our next mockup is ready to save out. We can see another advantage to using smart objects when working with filters. If we go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and apply any filter, we notice that our filter is now non-destructive and editable in the Layers panel. If you're a creative professional, having the ability and know-how to create a mock-up of your work to pitch or present to a client is essential. In fact, it's such a common request that there are companies and websites dedicated entirely to send easy-to-update mock-ups of almost any product imaginable. Here we have a mock-up of a bubble tea cup from Yellow Images. Now it looks a bit complicated, but if we go to the label layer group, we can see that we have a smart object for our label design layer. Double clicking the thumbnail will open our source content where we can make our changes. I'll bring my label artwork for Miss Bolita's bubble tea and save. And as simple as that, we have a great looking mockup for Miss Bolita's bubble tea to present to our client. Well, there you have it. Smart Objects in Photoshop. There are many other ways of using smart objects, but I chose to go over product mockups not only because they perfectly show their power, but in my experience, most if not all mockups that I've used are assembled using a smart object workflow. Like always, if you have any questions concerning what we talked about here today, or future Photoshop tutorials you would like to see, hit us up in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one.